it's Kelly and today I'm not coming to you to bring you a gardening video I am coming to you uh, from the hospital I just had surgery done a few days ago and my message for today's video is to listen to your body um, many years ago I I started having a, pain and a lot of problems associated with fibroids I and I complained to many doctors along the way uh, and they did a lot of different imaging along the way uh, and the imaging just didn't quite match up with what I was feeling they were uh, telling me that my fibroids were shrinking that they were small uh, the size of golf balls, ping pong balls. Uh, at one point they had said a lemon. Um, until finally I decided after many years that I had enough and I had a hysterectomy and I had the fibroid removed. The gynecologist was convinced that the, he was gonna be able to do the surgery laparoscopically. Uh, until he made the first incision and inserted the camera and when he inserted the camera he saw a very large fibroid and he had to uh, make it a lateral incision uh, I have a picture I'm going to show you this is the actual this is the bulk of the fibroid that he is holding I knew that it was not going to be the size of a lemon or a ping pong ball that I could feel it from the outside of my skin and had it had been problematic for years I knew that that wasn't the case even though that's what the imaging and the doctors had thought and this was everything else that was also removed at that time that's a lot of junk that's way more than a ping pong ball or a lemon so I I had this done in June of 2017 and this is July of 2021 and I still had problems and I had talked to doctors over the years I had persistent pain in my lower left quadrant of my abdomen and some doctors thought well maybe that it was uh, diverticulitis and I really didn't feel like this was the case and I could also feel something from the outside and the imaging showed that I had a, a small fibroid in that area I I like to joke and say in my local hospital that Helen Keller read the imaging but uh, anyway uh, it, the imaging just didn't match this persistent pain that I had felt for 11 plus years um, so finally I, I had I was able to coordinate with doctors from the city who were able to to take a better look I also had a ventral hernia that was probably due to the, um, the very large incision that I had uh, having that very large fibroid removed and also uh, having my son and I, I've had other abdominal surgeries such as an appendectomy um, but anyway I, I was able to coordinate uh, surgeons and go to a very nice hospital. I have a very nice hospital. Room. Look at those windows. They're floor to ceiling. And it's a private room. And it has a, a very nice large bathroom. But uh, I, I'm not on vacation. This is a hospital. But I... Uh, I had the doctors on Wednesday um, we were able to coordinate for the surgery and 
a, a wonderful gynecologist uh, went in and found that there was another fibroid growing in addition to the monster from the picture and it had attached to my left ovary and I like bulldogged it into the floor of my abdomen and held it there um, like weighed it down and when I woke up in recovery um, it was amazing because even though I had pain from the hernia repair and also I a complete mess of adhesions that I also had prepared um, I no longer had the pain in the floor of my abdomen that and I couldn't speak to her she wasn't there then so I didn't know what she had found what she did uh, but the pain in my lower left abdomen was gone for the first time for as long as I can remember it was gone so when I finally was able to rejoin with my husband and he was able to give me a report on what had happened and what they had found it was I another fibroid that had been causing me problems and you know when you complain about something for a long period of time for years you start to discredit your own way of thinking it and you think well maybe I'm making more of this than what it is maybe maybe I, I, I'm imagining this pain I need to just get over it because you know I've been complaining about it doctors looked at it and they're not concerned so I shouldn't be concerned but that's not the case you need to listen to your body if if you're having pain that is not normal you shouldn't be having pain for no reason and I had been having pain for I don't know 20 years uh, all together uh, but I had my uh, the hysterectomy and the large fibroid removed four years ago and I still had pain following that um, although I, I didn't have some of the other symptoms that are associated commonly with with fibroids I, and I did second guess myself I thought do I want to put myself through another surgery do I want to put myself at risk I'm I'm getting older now do I you know want to do this you know there there are some possible complications with every surgery there's possible complications with hernia repair there's uh, possible complications with adhesion repair and uh, and with whatever the more they move around the more they look at things the more your chances increase that something could happen I uh, however I after you know many nervous months and days and nights I decided to, to go through with it and to to listen to my inner self and know that I, I didn't want to live like that forever I didn't want to have that that um, it was more than problematic it was plaguing pain and I, I didn't want to live like that anymore and I felt like that it was almost crippling me from some of my daily habits that I enjoy uh, so I did decide to go through with the surgery and they they removed another fibroid I don't have an exact size on that um, and they didn't take any pictures this time uh, and they took my ovary and they took my fallopian tube on that side uh, but I I was right that there there was a problem even though it wasn't something that it was easy for the doctors to see they can't see everything on the imaging um, the doctor the gynecologist that I talked to or a, a gynecologist I believe is her actual title um, agreed to take a look whenever they did the hernia repair and whenever she was able to get in there with the camera you know she could see what the possible problem was and it worked when 
when she removed that fibroid and she removed the ovary and the uh, fallopian tube that were all conjoined, um, I don't know if they were quite encapsulated in one another, but uh, whenever that was removed, my problem was solved immediately. And it's not usually um, a comfortable experience when you wake up in a recovery room following surgery. Uh, but when I woke up, even though I was in some pain and had a little, um, I don't know, grogginess from the anesthetic, I still immediately noticed that the pain in my lower left abdomen was gone. So do yourself a favor, advocate for yourself. And if, if you know that you have a problem and there's something that's bothering you and your doctor won't listen to you, go to another doctor. Go to someone who will listen to you and take you seriously and your problem seriously. It is not normal to have pain and it's not normal to have it for years on end uh, with no real answers. So that's my advice for you today. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please like and subscribe. And as always, I thank you and I appreciate you watching. And uh, hopefully my next video will will be a, a little more lighthearted and hopefully with some pretty flowers or, or something like that. So thank you. Bye.